visualize like block and doing moves that you usually don't be able to do. Right? So I block here, that's they throw the hook. So I block here, I catch them with the body after they block because they they already here, they dead now. So I put my hand up. So push their hand from the hook and then jab them, hit them with the uppercut with the body. And then I just like slip down, go to the side, hit it with the right. Mostly all the other combinations and stuff like that. Mostly moving around, trying not to get hit. Blocking. And blocking off and punching off the blocks. You know what I'm saying? Mostly like that. So you visualize all this before your fights? Yeah, I visualize like man a hundred times. A hundred times at least. How far out before the fight does the visualization start? Oh. It'd be like when I hear when I know I'm about to fight. It be that the next day I visualize when I'm training. That's why I usually I train a lot, but I don't like training when I'm when I don't my fights is far. I don't know why, it's, cause I usually visualize my fights. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm ready. I'm already ready in my head. So the the part the training part it gets boring, cause I already I already feel like I want it. You said you don't like training too far out. How how far out do you like to train? Well it don't it don't matter about me though. It well but cause because like I train but it gets boring when you don't fight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a whole month a whole month of not fighting is whack. It's boring. So I don't train for like two weeks to be honest. How far ahead of fights do you train? So at least three weeks. At least three. At least three. And when you're not training, do you still have the same visualization? Yeah. If I'm not, no. Nah. No. No? Because we was just walking, man, and you zoned out on me, bro. I zoned out on yeah. hey, you. What were you visualizing? Just my movements. So, you know, I was walking, but as I was, I was walking, I was, in the, I was in the ring just then. I was in the ring. So I was like, I slowed down. I started moving. In my head, I was going so fast. Like, I was, I was doing movements and everything. That's how, that's how I beat. Do you visualize, or is visualization a technique that someone told you about, or is it something that you just did naturally? Well, naturally I did that, but then I found out it was actually something that I was taught. But I naturally did it on my own. I always did that. Who taught it to you and how did they teach it? Well, no, it was it was natural, but I learned I learned that it was I learned the name of it. I don't know who who I learned it from, I forgot the name. Did they teach you how to do it or you still just do it? No, I just do it regularly. Just regular. Yeah. So you and most people you said when you visualize you mostly visualize defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah defense. And counter punching. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that when I when I first started boxing. I was busy on knocking people out, but then when I started knocking people out, I found out that I can't fight them no more. So I got boring. What you mean you can't fight them anymore? You can't fight. They can't fight for six months if you knock them out. Right. Yeah, but if it's a technical knockout, you can still fight them. So you're basically saying you stopped knocking out your opponents because you wanted the fight to go longer and you wanted to fight them more. Well, yeah, I want to fight. I want. I don't want to knock people out because if I knock them out, then I can't fight. And if I can't fight, I'm gonna be bored and I'm not gonna work out. I'm gonna get fat, and lazy. So I wanna. If I if I if I stop myself from knocking people out and go the rounds, the three rounds, then it's it's better for me as a fighter. And I learn my more techniques and I learn how to fight and box instead of trying to be a knockout artist. You know what I'm saying? So when I fight those. Those actually people that know how to fight, then I'll be up there. I'll be able to hang with them. All right, so is, are there a lot of guys in your division? Because you're super heavyweight. Yeah, there's not a lot of people in my division. So how many New York super heavyweights are there? I don't know anymore. They all, they all lost to me. They all, oh, so you can't even fight? There's no Knock one. Knocked out? No, nah, I, I, I stopped knocking them out, but they still don't want to fight me now. So you just the king of the hill in NYC? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm number one in New York. Yeah, it's a fact.